Hey guys, welcome to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things to do with clips, and that's speed ramping. So speed ramping is really, really cool and a great way to make your footage look amazing. Speed ramping, I guess, is best described as taking a clip from its regular speed at 100% and ramping it up to like super fast and then you ramp it back down to its 100%. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so in the project panel, we have a drone clip and this clip was recorded with a really slow movement from ground level of this house all the way up to like a almost like a bird's eye view, super high up, and then it takes 31 seconds for the drone to reach that point. We don't wanna wait 31 seconds to see all of that. I mean, honestly, so let's speed it up. Here's how this works. So we're gonna take this entire clip and we're gonna drag it into the timeline, creating a new sequence based on that clip settings. First thing we need to do is expand the video portion of this clip. And then you see right here in the top left corner where it says FX. It's grayed out, doesn't have any effects applied to it. So we need to right click that box, choose time remapping, and then go to speed. And what that does is it changes this line to make the changes apply to speed. Whereas by default, the effect line changes uh, the opacity. So if I make a couple of keyframes and I drop this down, the opacity will change to nothing. So what we'll do is we'll right click, go time remapping, and then speed. Now this line is going to make changes to the speed parameter. So what we'll do is we'll start at the beginning of the clip, and I'm actually gonna trim off some of this dead space. Scoot it back to the beginning. So we have this movement. The drone is in tripod mode, so it's moving at a very slow rate, which is exactly what we want. And it's a perfect condition for a speed ramp. So let's let it play for just a second. And then stop it right there. And we're gonna create a keyframe like we've done before. So Command or Control and click on the line. So that's gonna be where we start our speed ramp. So let's scrub ahead to right about here. So we don't want to finish the move and then place the keyframe. We want to place the next keyframe right before our move is completely finished. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see exactly what's happening. So now we have these two dotted lines where we placed both of our keyframes. And basically what we can do now is we're going to select that. And if we just click and drag, you can see how there's that double headed arrow. We can expand and open up this little section. That's the space in which our ramp is going to occur. Right now, nothing's happening because we have this constant rate of speed from beginning to end. So let's go over here and expand this one a bit. And now we'll drag the line in between and we're gonna increase the speed by dragging it up. And let's take it all the way up to 500%. And as you can see, the audio track is unchanged and really we don't need that because this is a drone clip and it doesn't have audio anyway. So we can hit control or command L to de-link those clips, select the audio and delete it. This line is a linear motion. So we go from 100% and a linear motion from this point to here all the way up to 500%. And then we let it play and again, it's gonna decrease in a linear motion back to 100%. We can ramp this with a nice curve by grabbing this little point, and you can see it now has these handles. Grab that and drag it to the left. And you can see this really nice S curve. The S curve will allow it to slowly ramp up and then slowly stall out at 500%. Let's play that back. Okay, there we go. And let's say we wanted that ramp to last a little bit longer. Just grab the handle and drag it out and the ramp will take longer to reach 500%. So let's do the same thing to the uh, other side. Grab that handle and drag it away. Let's increase the uh, period in which it will ramp for, and let's see that happen. Okay, great. Now, personally, I think 500% is going to be a little bit too slow. So what we can do is grab that line again, and I'm going to drag it all the way up to 1,000%, which is the maximum speed that you can reach.
Now that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's how you speed ramp a clip. But you might be asking me, Gil, why can't you just use the rate stretch tool and shrink the clip down so that it plays faster? Well, here's why. Okay, so let's just grab that clip again and we're gonna bring it down to the timeline. I'm gonna de-length the audio because that has no purpose for us here. And we'll grab the rate stretch tool and let's just see if we can, you know what, let's place it on top of this clip so we can match it. We're, we're gonna get exactly the same duration out of it. So we've squished it down and this clip's now gonna play at 281.95%. So let's play this back now and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Not very interesting at all. Honestly, I feel like it goes a little too slow. Let's see if we can't uh, speed that up even more. Let's squish it down. All right, let's see this now. Basically, when you're rate stretching and squishing all those frames down to happen really fast, your computer's like, wait, what are we trying to do? I just, the performance of your editing at that point is gonna dramatically drop and you don't get the coolness of starting off at a regular rate and then speeding it way up and then landing on this last like really cool slow reveal. It just, you don't get that with the rate stretch tool and that is why you want to use speed ramping. Yeah, use speed ramping on parts where you're like shooting your B-roll, maybe you're going through a mall or something, or you're using a drone to capture footage. I, I think a really cool speed ramp situation is like your drone's at eye level, and then you fly just straight up. Speed ramp that ascending all the way up till you get to the top and then slow it back down so that it just kind of like, everything happens real fast, you're flying up, and then you just land at this really cool perspective way up in the sky. Those are really good uses of speed ramping. Ramping. Forget all about rate stretching and the sense of making cool footage, but it's still useful sometimes. <laughs> so there you have it guys, speed ramping in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching. Smack the like button if you like this video. Subscribe with notifications on and I will see you in the next one.